Hi there, Tim Santoni and welcome to the show. Today I want to talk about the five things you need to do in order to be successful when it comes to your networking. Stay tuned. So when it comes to networking, I find that there's a few things that need to happen in order to have a successful strategy. A lot of people that I talk with say, oh, I get a lot of work from referrals. And I say, well, what's your strategy around that? And they say, well, I don't have one. So today I wanna to talk about the five things that I think are super important when it comes to networking and getting key referrals from your activities. Stay tuned. So number one is show up. Plan your calendar, get out there, be active. Get out and do at least one social networking uh, event per week and maybe a professional networking event. Get your name out there. Schedule in advance and make sure that you're uh, out there and being seen. Dress appropriately for the event so that you're, you're coming with a high level of credibility. First impressions are crucial. Even if you're introverted, get out there. Don't be apprehensive, talk to people. Uh, introduce yourself. There's chances are there's people that are sitting there in that room or standing at those tables that are feeling apprehensive as well and they want to talk to you. So get out there, be active. Tip number one is show up, calendar your events, and, and get out there and be present. Number two is do your homework. Before you go to a meeting, get a list of attendees if possible. Find out who's involved in the group, who will be there. Make sure you know their names and the firm they're worth. In the event that you have a testimony or a thank you, you can properly recognize them by using their name. Uh, saying it correctly and recognizing the firm they're with and being a little having a little bit of information about what they do and what they specialize in so you can highlight them and make that testimonial or referral uh, all about them and highlighting them. Number three is tell your story. So many times I go to networking events and people stand up and tell me about their specialties, their certifications, all the services that they and their firm offer. It's dry, it's bland. Tell your story, tell people what you're passionate about professionally and personally. Tell a story that illustrates what you do that will be memorable and leave the people hanging so they'll wanna approach you after the meeting and ask you more about what you do or what you're passionate about. Don't use acronyms and language that only people in the industry would know. It turns people off and in a networking meeting, it puts people to sleep. Number four is follow up. After you go to a networking event, look to set up a side meeting, a one-on-one -on -one coffee or lunch with people that you think are in your target market that maybe we could refer people um, to you and that you could refer people to them. Go out of your way to learn more about them. You're not gonna learn everything you need to know when you go to a networking meeting and hear someone talk for three minutes about who they are and what they do. As an example, if you're a family law attorney, it might make sense to talk to criminal defense attorneys and estate planners. Criminal defense attorneys can be referrals inbound and estate planners can be somebody that you refer outbound. By having referral sources in and out, this is a great way to make sure that you're um, top of mind when it comes to those referral partners that you're looking to have business sent your way. And number five is give to get. The only way to get referrals is to give them out. And the only way you can give referrals out is if you look to understand the people's special specializations, their personality, what their key clients look like. And the only way you can do that is about being active, networking, asking questions, setting up side meetings, and actively talking to your customers about how these people in your network, these trusted advisors can add value in their organization, in their business, or in their life. So thanks so much for tuning into the show. I would love to hear what your uh, best techniques for networking and strategies are for networking. If you could leave them down below in the comments. And if you like what you see, please give us a thumbs up. I look forward to connecting with you very soon. Thanks.